Welcome back to your mat. Today we're gonna go through the power of vinyasa yoga flow. This flow is designed to get your blood pumping and re-energize your foot feelings or mood. And of course, it's designed to get you sweaty and feel really good afterwards. Just sweat out all these feelings and emotions that you don't need anymore. And um, I tried a couple more times. It got me sweaty every single time. So I can't wait for you to try it. And if you need, you can close the windows, the doors in your house, or even turn on the heater, if that will help you to get your blood flowing even more. But I will highly encourage you to use your own body heat. Try to activate your own Ujjayi breath by breathing in through your nose and exhale out through your nose. But doing this cycle of breath, also using your core. So then you can activate your core muscles as well. In this sequence, at any single time, if you feel you're overheated, try to exhale out through your mouth, let go of the heat in your body. So let's get started. We're gonna start the class in child's pose. So open your knees wider than your hips and big toes touch. If you have tight hips, try to open your knees a little wider. Once you feel ready, send your forehead down towards the mat, arms reaching forward, close your eyes and breathe. Start to let go of all the thoughts you don't need in this moment. Commit to yourself. You already showed that on your mat. Just be here for yourself. Inhale, try to find length through your arms. Exhale, send your hips down towards the mat. Just a little bit more here. Slowly open your hips a little bit more. Take a big inhale through your nose. Exhale, open mouth. Couple of rounds of breaths here in your own pace. You can hold still or rock your forehead side to side onto your mat. You should feel really calm and good. Slowly in your inhale, push yourself up and find your tabletop, or some people call it four fours. Open your 10 fingers wide onto your mat. Use your knuckles to grip onto your mat. So then you're not hurting your, your muscles. So hug your elbows in, untuck your toes, stack your joints on top of one another. Inhale, cow pose, gaze up and forward, open your chest. Drop your belly down and point your tailbone towards the sky and breathe. And put on a big smile on your face. One inhale here. Exhale, cat pose. Round your upper back like an angry cat. Gaze inward. Lift your navel in towards your spine. This time, tuck your tailbone. Push down to your hands. Round your back just a little bit more here. Couple rounds of cow and cat in your own pace. Inhale. Exhale, cat. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Wound our lower back here. Inhale, one more time. Exhale, cat, one last time. Inhale, back to your tabletop. Slowly exhale out all the air in your lungs. Inhale, lift your right leg towards the back of the room. Flex your right toes towards your face right away. Engage your leg muscles here. So kick your right heel towards the back of the room. Find the one line energy you need here. Long neck towards the front of the room. Core is really tight, push down to your right hand. Inhale, lift your left hand up as if you're hand shaking with me. So lower your shoulders back down, core is really tight, we're just gonna hold still here. Sometimes holding still is way tougher than moving around. You gotta be focused, find your engagement here. Keep lifting your lower stomach in. Couple more. One inhale, find length. 
Exhale, release back down to your tabletop. Maybe shake your head side to side. Maybe you feel a little bit warmer. We're gonna keep going. Inhale, left leg to, to the back of the room. Flex your left toes towards your face. Engage your leg muscle one more time. Maybe this time you want to lift your kneecap up a little bit more. Engage your left leg just a little bit more here. Squeeze your core tight here. Push down to your left hand. Inhale, right hand up. Left hand, do our handshake here. Lower your right shoulder back down. Find length in your right hand and your left leg. Fire out our core here. One inhale, find length. Exhale, release back down. Again, shake it side to side. Now slowly send your hips down to your heels. Bring your knees together. Now hands out of your heart center. Push your palms together and close your eyes. Let's set our intention first before we started getting really sweaty. So I appreciate you come on to your mat and share this moment with me. But find one thing that you are grateful for today. I know we are all in quarantine right now. There, there's so much emotion going on that we don't know what's gonna happen, but we're gonna drop all that off right now and find one thing that makes make us feel good. That one thing that makes you feel powerful. So inhale, bring that with you. Exhale, share that with me. <sighs> Slowly open your eyes and let's get ready. Back to your tabletop. Tuck your toes, lift your hips to the sky, find your downward facing dog. Fur into your 10 fingers. Open your feet as wide as your hips, six inches apart. Maybe soft bend your knees, get started. First down dog, try to find a stretch, find an alignment you need. Maybe paddle your feet right and left. Shake your head yes, shake your head no. Warm down our body here. Soft bend your knees, bring your chest a little closer to your thighs. Lift your hips a little higher here. It should feel really good here. Once you feel ready, that's a whole in down dog in stillness for a couple rounds of breath. Core is really tight towards your spine. Inhale, shift your body forward, find your high plank. Shoulders on top of your wrist, kick your heels towards the back of the room. Core tight and hold here. Gaze down and forward, find your long neck. If you want, you can stay here or lift your right leg up. Flex your right toes towards your face. Your hips are still in one line with your spine. Breathe. Whew. I know. One inhale here. Exhale, downward facing dog. We're gonna find out our core here. You know where we're going. Inhale, back to your high plank. This time, Find a different engagement. Heels are so strong towards the back of the room. Push down to your 10 fingers, lift your chest up. Stay here or lift your left leg up. We got this. Inhale here. Exhale, downward facing dog. Paddle your feet a little bit more. Last round, we're gonna give it all we have, core really, really tight here. Inhale, back to your table, high plank. Whew. Core really tight, shoulders on top of your wrist. Maybe lift your knees up a little bit more. Engage your thighs, your core, your shoulders. Keep breathing here. One inhale, shift your body forward. Exhale, lower all the way down to your belly. Whew, this should feel really, really good right now. Hands right next to your chest. Hug your elbows in. Untuck your toes, bring your feet together. Big toes touch. Push down onto the top of your feet. Inhale, cobra pose. Zero to no weights onto your hands. You can lift your hands up, 
or come up to fingertips. Just use a little bit of weight here. Lift your chest up through your spine. Exhale, release. One more time. Inhale, Cobra. Exhale, release. Tuck your toes. Inhale, push up high plank. This time, inhale, shift your body forward. Exhale, lower halfway down Chaturanga or drop your knees down to modify Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Lift your hips and thighs up. Push down onto your hands and lift your chest up. Exhale, downward facing dog. Whew. How are you feeling so far? A little sweaty? Inhale, right leg up. Pause, gaze back. Make sure your right toes are pointing down towards the mat. Close your right hip. Inhale, find length through your right heel. Exhale, step forward, low lunge. Drop your left knee on top of your left toes. Inhale, kneeling crescent, arms up to the sky. Whew. I know, I feel pretty sweaty right now. Burn your core and bang into your right knee. Lower your shoulders down, shoot your arms towards the sky. This pose should make you feel really good, really strong. This is kind of like the modifi modification for crescent pose. Try to bang to your right knee just a little bit more, find a little more stretch. Core is really tight the whole time. Inhale, find length. Exhale, count as your arms are squeeze your shoulder blades in. Open your chest towards the sky, bring all the good with you. Inhale back up, exhale, half split, send your hands down towards the mat, straighten your right leg. You can stay here if you feel this is already really intense. If you want a little bit more, flex your right toes towards your face, maybe use your right hand to grab the back of your right foot and help you to fall a little deeper. Option, you can bring stacks of books or one to two books underneath your hands to give you a little more room to fall deeper. There are so many different options here. Choose whatever works the best for you. Hips are squared towards the back of the room. Breathe. One inhale here. Exhale, bang to your right knee, find your low lunge, tuck your back toe. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, your chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Right away, inhale, left leg high. Pause. Gaze back to make sure your left toes are pointing down towards the mat. Inhale, find length. Exhale, step forward, low lunge. Drop your right knee down. Untuck your right toes. Inhale, kneeling crescent. We've been here before, so this time maybe lower your shoulders down even more and zip your rib cages in towards one another while you're reaching towards the sky. Breathe as slow as possible. One, inhale, find length. Exhale, cadence your arms out. Shine your heart towards the sky. Feel so powerful here. Inhale back up. Exhale, half split. So the left side usually is a little tighter. So if you want, bring books underneath your hands right away. Or use your left hand, grab your left foot, flex your left toes towards your face and fall a little deeper here. This pose is still very intense to me whenever it's involved hamstrings. Woo. But the more we do these poses to stretch our muscles, the more our body becomes flexible. One inhale here. Exhale, slowly go back to your low lunge. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, halfway down, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Couple of rounds of breath here. One inhale here. Exhale, open mouth. Nice. Inhale, right leg high. Exhale, step forward, low lunge. Inhale, crescent lunge. So this is a full version now. So I believe in this pose, 
we have talked about a lot of engagements in the past. So maybe this time you want to kick your left heel a little bit more down towards the mat. Firm your left leg and firm your core and bend to your right knee, arms up to the sky. Lower your shoulders down, find your focus here. Ooh, my legs are shaking. Inhale, find length. Exhale, fly your arms towards the back of the room to your flying crescent. Keep bending to your right knee. Left leg is so strong. Lift your lower stomach in. Squeeze your shoulder blades in. Breathe. Inhale, shift your arms forward, step your left foot forward, find your chair pose. One inhale here, exhale, fly your arms. Inhale, exhale, fly. Two more, inhale, exhale, fly. Keep your hips low, inhale, exhale, fly. Inhale, back to your chair. Exhale, standing half split. Hands onto your mat, lift your left leg towards the back of the room. Push down onto your right leg. Right leg's long and straight. And if you want, you can come up to your fingertips, lift your chest a little bit more, flex your left toes towards your face, close your left hip. Find a stretch here. One inhale here. Exhale, step your left foot down to your low lunge. Push down to your left hand, inhale, low lunge, twist. You can gaze forward or gaze up. Lift your left leg long and straight here. Your core is really, really tight. Ooh, I don't know if you can see me on the screen, but I am really sweaty now. Oof. Take one inhale here. Exhale, lift your left arm up to your crescent twist. So maybe soft bend your left knee to give you a little more room to twist towards the right side of the room. Core tight, breathe. Keep using your arm to reach towards both sides of the room. Inhale, open up, warrior two. Find your adjustments here. Back foot is parallel to your mat and right knee is opening towards the front of the room. Now, lower your shoulders down and shoo your arms towards both sides of the room. Palms facing down, firm your core, bend to your right knee. Core really, really tight. One inhale here. Exhale, shift your body forward, extend the side angle. So you can lower your right elbow onto your right thigh, lower your shoulders down, shift your left hand, pointing towards the front of the room. Push down onto your left foot, find length here. Core really tight here. Inhale, come all the way up. Star pose. Point your toes towards your knee direction. And then take one inhale, reach up, Grab everything you want. Exhale, hands to your heart, horse squat. Bend into your knees and drop your hips down. Firm your core, hands out of your heart center. Three more, inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale. Exhale, send your hips down. Inhale up. Exhale, drop it down. Inhale, start. Exhale, warrior two to the front. Inhale, reverse warrior. Send your right knee forward. Reach your right hand towards the back of the room. Use your core to reach. Both feet are so strong towards the mat. Keep reaching up in your inhale here. Exhale, lower your hands and your choice. Shut around on a high plank. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Whew. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, step forward, low lunge. Inhale, crescent lunge. Whew. Reach your arms up. Again, 
We talked about this before. Maybe use the left side to find different engagement. Allow yourself to bend into your left knee a little bit more. Even if your legs are shaking, challenge yourself right now. One in, have fine length. Exhale, fly towards the back of the room. Flying crescent. Gaze down and forward. Find your focus here. Back leg is so strong here. Core tight. Inhale, shift your arms forward. Step forward. Exhale, drop your hips down to your chair pose. Inhale. Exhale, fly. Inhale. Exhale, fly. Two more. Inhale here. Exhale, fly. Inhale. Exhale, fly. Inhale, right here. Exhale, standing half split. Right leg up this time. Flex your right toes towards your face. Send your right heel towards the back of the room. Close your right hip. Left leg is so strong. Breathe. Again, you can bring books or blanket underneath your hands for a little more support. One inhale here. Exhale, step your right foot down to your low lunge. Inhale, low lunge twist. Reach your left hand up towards the sky. Find your twist here, core really, really tight. Breathe. One inhale here. Exhale, crescent twist. Lift your right arm up, bend to your right knee, and twist a little deeper from your core. Inhale, open up, warrior two. Parallel your right foot this time to your mat. Bend to your left knee, shoot your arms out. Lower your shoulders down. Pull your inner thighs in towards one another. Maybe for this, for this side, you want to close your eyes now. Inhale here. Exhale, extend the side angle. Drop your left elbow onto your left side. Reach your arms up towards the front of the room. Right side body is so long right now. Push down to your right foot. Inhale, star pose. Come all the way up. Exhale, horse squat. Hands at your heart center. And send your hips down. Burn your core. Bend your knees whole here. Three rounds of breath, maybe close your eyes. Two. Last one. Inhale, start. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior. Send your right arm towards the back of the room. Bend to your left knee, breathe. Feel the stretch of your left side body here. One inhale. Exhale, lower your hands down. You can go through your chaturanga or hold in high plank. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a one big inhale here. Exhale, let go. Let's reset here. We're gonna assemble this together, two rounds. One breath, one movement. There's no hold. We're gonna build up the heat, and then we're gonna stretch. We got this together, take a big inhale through your nose. Exhale, let go. Inhale, right leg. Exhale, step forward. Inhale, crescent. Exhale, fly. Inhale, step. Exhale, chair. Inhale, find length. Exhale, fly. Inhale. Exhale, standing half split. Hold in your inhale here. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, low lunge twist. Exhale, crescent twist. 
Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, star. Exhale, horse squat. One time, inhale, star. Exhale, horse squat. Inhale, up. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, hands down, chaturanga or high plank, your choice here. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg. Exhale, step. Inhale, crescent. Exhale, fly. Inhale, forward. Exhale, drop. One. Inhale, here. Exhale, fly. Inhale, chair. Exhale, standing half split. Inhale, hold. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, low lunge twist. Exhale, crescent twist. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, extend the side angle. Inhale, start. Exhale, horse squat. Hold here. One round of breath. Inhale, start. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, hands down. Shut around our high plank. Your choice here. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. One last time. I'm only gonna cue the breath here. If you make a mistake, it's totally fine. Inhale, right leg. Exhale, step. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, down. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, chair. Exhale, down. Inhale, stay. Exhale, down. Inhale, twist. Exhale, crescent twist. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. Inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, lower your hands down, your choice here. I'm going to do the high plank version. Exhale, downward facing dog, inhale, left leg, exhale, step, inhale, up, exhale, fly, inhale, forward. Exhale, drop. Inhale. Exhale, fly. Inhale. Exhale, fold. Hold your inhale here. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale. Exhale, crescent twist. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale up, exhale down, almost there, hold here. Inhale, exhale, inhale, reverse. Exhale, hands down, last round, your choice here. High plank or chaturanga. Exhale, downward facing dog, right away. Walk your hands towards your feet. Step your feet as wide as your mat. And drop your hips down to your malasana. Close your eyes. Push your, heel, uh, push your elbows against your knees. And open your chest a little bit more. Close your eyes. Breathe here. Use this moment to calm yourself down. power 
of our own breath here. As you can see, I'm very sweaty, but I'm not using any external heat. It's just my breath here. Take one. Inhale here. Exhale, open mouth. Slowly, send your hands down towards the mat. Straighten your legs. Swing side to side. Release the pressure on your legs here. Once you feel ready, take it, your heel toes together. Inhale, halfway lift. Hands onto your shins. Gaze down and forward. Lift your navel in. Exhale, forward fold. Drop everything down towards the mat. Maybe if you want, soft bend your knees. Just hold here. Two rounds. Inhale. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway, lift. Exhale, slowly drop your hips down. Find your seat. Whew, we made it. So now we're going to stretch our body. So shift your, your um, weight a little bit forward. Send your legs in front of you. So... Remove the extra flesh underneath you. Find your seat, sit bones on the mat. Flex your toes towards your face. Inhale, arms up to the sky. Exhale, sit it forward, fold. Grab the back of your feet. If this is not accessible for you, maybe bring a towel and hook it behind your feet. Or just bend your knees, bend your elbows a lot and fall deeper from your chest. Breathe here. This should feel really good right now. Try to stretch the back of your legs. Maybe send your forehead onto your knees here. <sighs> yeah, breathe as loud as you need. Let go of all the heat you don't need anymore. <sighs> Let's do the lion's breath together. Take it one big inhale through your nose. Exhale, stick your tongue out. <sighs> <sighs> You're at home. You can make as much noise as you need. Slowly come all the way back up, bend your knees, and send your hips forward. Reach your arms in front of you, lower all the way back down. Once you get there, bring your heels closer to your fingertips. We're going to do one round of bridge pose to decompress our spine here. So make sure your fingertips are right behind your heels. Your feet are hip distance. Exhale out all the air in your lungs. Inhale, lift your hips up to bridge pose. You can walk your shoulder blades in, interlace your fingers underneath you, or just push your hands towards the mat. Make sure you keep squeezing your knees and thighs in towards one another. Push down to your hands, lift your hips up, breathe here. You can close your eyes, hold here. One inhale, lift up. Exhale, slowly release back down. And turn to sideways so you can see a little better. Bring your feet as wide as your mat. Knees touch. Relax your lower back onto the mat so you can just draw them down, breathe. Yeah, that was a very intense moment. I hope you also feel very sweaty right now. Inhale, reach your right leg up to the sky, bend your right knee, send your right ankle onto your left side. We're going to do recline figure four. So bring your legs in towards your chest, flex your feet here, both feet. So reach your hands through and interlace your fingers behind your right thigh. Inhale, bring your legs in towards your chest. Exhale, send your lower back towards the mat. And also, if you want a little bit more, send your right knee towards the sky. So you can find a little more stretch on your right outside hip here. Breathe. The more you flex your feet, the more you find that intense stretch here. Close your eyes. Maybe check in with yourself to see how you feel right now. 
Maybe you feel a little better. You let go of something that you don't need anymore. Slowly release your feet back down towards the mat. Inhale, left leg up. Bend your left knee. Left ankle onto your right thigh. Lift your legs up. Flex your toes. Now thread your hands through. Interlace your fingers behind your right thigh. Inhale, bring legs in. Exhale, lower your tailbone down towards the mat and send your left knee towards the sky. Find your intense stretch here. This is a good alternative for half pigeon. If you're new to half pigeon or you have tight hips, this is a good pose to get yourself towards half split. Uh, not half split, half pigeon. Now you know, I am so sweaty but i feel really good so hopefully you feel the same you feel a little more energized you feel a lot of good feelings in your chest you feel powerful slowly release your feet down towards the mat this time hug your right knee in extend your right left leg out long and straight in front of you maybe your left hand onto your left hip push your left hip down and Inhale, hug your right knee in towards your right armpit. So it's a little bit out towards your right. So feel the stretch here. One, inhale here. Exhale, supine twist to your left, gaze to your right. So make sure your shoulder blades are on the mat before you drop your right knee down a little bit more. Chest opening towards the sky. Maybe gaze up or gaze to your right. Close your eyes here. Just breathe. Inhale back to center. This time, switch your legs. Left knee in, right leg long and straight in front of you. Right hand onto your right hip. Push your hips down. Meanwhile, hug your left knee in towards your left armpit. So again, it's a little bit outside of your left. So you can feel a deeper stretch here. One inhale here. Exhale, supine twist to your right. Gaze to your left. Shoulder blades on the mat first before you twist deeper. Chest up towards the sky. During this moment of staying at home, I think it's important to find things that makes us feel good, even if it's just 10 minutes yoga, as long as you make it to your mat. I think that counts. So today we definitely did our workout, sweated and felt great. That's all that matters. Inhale back to center. Hugging your knees in, maybe Rock it side to side if you want. Massage your lower back. When you feel ready, inhale knees to your chest. Wrap your arms onto your shins. Grab the opposite elbows. Squeeze yourself really, really tight, like giving yourself a big hug here. Inhale, lift your forehead onto your knees. Exhale, Shavasana. Extend your legs long and straight. Drop your arms right next to you, palms facing up. Maybe if you want, walk your shoulder blades in, open your chest a little bit more, and breathe here. Close your eyes, enjoy Shavasana, and I'll guide you out. Inhale through your nose. 
Exhale, let everything go. You can stay in Shavasana. There's no rush. Take your time. Or if you feel you're ready to move forward, rock your head side to side. Wiggle your fingers, your toes. Bring your knees in towards the sky. Inhale, reach your arms towards the back of the room. Give yourself a big stretch here. Exhale, slowly roll, roll to the right side of the room. Drop both knees down. Pause here. Take a moment here to yourself. Remind yourself how powerful and how strong you are. Bring this feeling with you onto the rest of your day. Gently push yourself up. Find your seat. Cross your legs in front of you. Hands at your heart center. Push your palms together. Open your chest. We're going to close the sequence together with one clean breath. Exhale out all the air in your lungs. Take a big inhale here. Exhale, share your breath with me. Thumb to your third eye. Inhale, lift your chest up. Bring all the good feeling with you. Exhale, bow to yourself. Namaste. We did it. So I, I don't know how you feel so far, but please remember, share your feelings or your comments below in the comment area. And I'll make sure to check your comments and let me know whatever you want to work on. Leave your comments there or stay connected with us. So I will see you next Thursday.